Hi. Today I'm going to use my house's electric meter to test the power consumption of some LED bulbs. I tried to do this with my kilowatt, but I found out that the kilowatt needs to be calibrated and I don't have the equipment to do that. Then I tried to use my multimeter, but I found that this isn't a true RMS meter, so it didn't give me any accurate readings either. So I've decided to use my house's power meter because I found out it measures power consumption in real time in watt hours. And that's perfect for my use because that meter is the one that tells the power company how much I have to pay. The first thing I have to do is shut off all my breakers and leave only one on that I'm going to use for this test. Alright, I'm here in my backyard. You can see the meter behind me. I've got a camera pointed at the meter. In the lower right corner of the meter's LCD you see a dot. When the dot comes on or goes off, that indicates one watt hour has been consumed. The camera is recording at 29.97 frames per second, and that should tell us within 33 and a third milliseconds when one watt hour has been consumed. That should tell us within one one hundredth of a watt the power consumption of these bulbs. First up is Philips non dimmable. Now that I've collected my data, I'm going to go through these video files frame by frame and mark the points at which one watt hour has been consumed. And that is where we started. There is the first one. Right there. There is the second one. And there is the third one. We'll just trim that bit off there. And we consumed three watt hours in 10 minutes, 52 seconds, and two frames. I'm going to use Google Calculator for this next part because it makes it so easy to do conversions by writing them in plain English. This is how you do. Three over two watt hours, because we used two lights to save time, per 10 minutes at 60 seconds a minute, plus 52 seconds, plus 2 frames at 29.97 frames per second, seconds in watts. This bulb consumed 8.28 watts. It's rated for 8.5 watts, and this result is well within what I would consider an appropriate margin of error. If you want to see the rest of the results, here they are. You can also find them on my blog, and the link is in the description below. Thank you for watching.